She's a man eater. A man eater. Oh yeah, she likes. <laughs> she likes men. Here we go. This is the stuff. Do you think she's really slept with all these people that the papers make out, or is she quite innocent? Um, well, I know she's a very faithful girl to whichever man is in her life at the time. She's always been like that. And her son, Harvey. Have you met Harvey? Yeah. And do you think she's a good mother? She loves that little boy, yeah. So you don't think there's anything bad you could spill the beans on? No, not really. Give us some dirt. <laughs> oh, well, I thought she was such a bad girl. No. So do you think you could spot Katie easily in a group, in like in a group out? Do you think she would stand out? Oh, definitely. She would definitely stand out. So are you going to put the kettle on? Am I going to put the kettle on? <laughs> That's what she always said to me. <laughs> I could do with a cup of tea. Are you being serious with me? I am indeed. Would you all like a cup of tea? Is that you, Kate? <laughs> Samantha Bond. <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Bravo. You, know, you know, she lasted a good 15, yes, 20 minutes, yes, so that's like really she great. Did. Do you know what? I could not do the voice. How oh, are you? <laughs> I thought this is just too uncanny. I How could not do the voice. Sam, like Kate. <laughs> Look at this bloody bodysuit they put on me, Sam. And what's your deal with that bodysuit? Like, girl, you ain't fat underneath that. <laughs> well, I think she did very well. She still needs a little more work on the voice, but I I'm chuffed, huh? Yeah, she did well. definitely. Bravo, babe. But yeah. I just wish that, uh, you know, she dissed some dirt there for a little bit. I said, Sam knows me so well. I said, it'll be so hard to do her. Could you not tell when I'm sitting there? I kept thinking, well, when I said, <laughs> you, said you, the right question, you sound father. like Kate... <laughs> And then I was thinking to myself, my God, she even bloody looks like her. But I thought, I'm not going to say oh, anything. Oh, really? Yeah, I did. I thought, she even looks like her. How oh. weird. Because <laughs> I haven't seen you for years, and I keep saying I'm going to come and see you. I just loved it when you said, how about a cup of tea? Because I thought, that's what Kate always used to do, like, <laughs> put the kettle on. That's what I said it. <laughs> And I thought, this is for real. <laughs> when Betty first walked in, I thought, oh, that's good. There's someone more haggard than me. <laughs> And I was sitting there thinking, that is just so incredible that this woman should speak like, like Katie. And then as I was sitting there, I thought, she even sort of looks like her. There's something about her. Obviously, it's not her because she's a, an older woman. Um, I said, but there, there is even something about her that reminds me of Katie. It's just so strange. It was good that I asked all the tricky questions. But the reason why I'd done that as well was because I wanted people at home to realise you know, this industry, people think they know you and they don't. And, and Sam had a perfect opportunity to stitch me up and say anything. And it just goes to show, you're all wrong. So Samantha stayed loyal and Katie pulled it off. With two challenges under her belt, she leaves with a smile on her face. Another challenge done. But there's no time to rest as Katie's biggest challenge is yet to come. Unlike her other two targets, she literally sees this one every day and every night. Who could it be? It's time for her to reveal all. The next person I'd like to wind up would have to be Peter. Katie first met Peter very much in the public eye when they were both contestants on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. You know, like, the wild side of you kind of thing that's like everyone knows. I have got it in there. Yeah, I know, but... Is much better. Like I like it. I like how you are here now. You know. You know what I mean. That's just one side. Everyone's got a side, a wild side. <sighs> Peter and Katie's love affair has clearly captured the public's imagination over the last year. But how easy would it be to fool the person you love? Kate is about to find out. The sun is shining on the morning of her final challenge. Today, she's to fool her jungle sweetheart. Hey, Peter, Andre. Cheers. When was the last time you spoke to him? This morning, I left him in bed. And I said, see you later. And I felt like saying, see you in a few hours, Pete. So, 
I left him in bed this morning. Kate is specifically chosen to get even with Peter on the subject of fans. In public, Kate has become known for her fiery temper. Peter, on the other hand, is known for being Mr. Nice Guy and smiling in front of any fan, however pushy they may be. Today, Katie wants to see if she can make him crumble. She's about to play the part of a fan from hell. Well, Pete himself, he's always nice to everyone, and I'm trying to rub off onto him to say, look, you know, you're a human being. If you don't like something, don't be fake. Just go with your instinct, you know, because that's what I do. But Pete's different to me. He is soft, and I am trying to roughen him up a bit. So what kind of rough treatment has Katie got planned for Peter? Find out after the break.